uh, it says advancements in employment, things like that, right? State jobs or education opportunities. Because I know that if you have um, felonies or criminal, like things like FAFSA, financial aid, uh, Pell and Tap, you cannot apply because technically they look at it like, um, why would they give you money um, when you owe them money? Kind of sad. Um, it does not expunge your record. So, um, I know this. Even if your record is expunged, it really don't go nowhere. It just, there's no access to it. But it still shows you got a criminal record. It'll just say expunged, so people cannot read your public record. Fuckery. Um, registration of a civil, uh, restoration of your civil and political rights. There's another process uh, that you go through in order to bear arms um, once you've been convicted as a felon in the state of Georgia. So, if you're a felon and your charges are, like, I'm not a felon, but my charges and my commissions are two different things. Glory be to God. So, um, if you have drug charges, uh, DUI, um, a common offense like jaywalking, which I think is just a fine. Not a, there's no label attached to it as far as a criminal record. Um, here's one. Um, what's the word? There's different levels to theft. Uh, retail theft, but under five hundred dollars. Um, they call it something. It's called something. I don't know because those are not the kind of charges I've had. But um, I know that it matters, right? So if you go to store and you steal something, you're not violent. You just you need what you need, and you don't have the money to pay for it, or um, you feel entitled and you take what you want. Either way, you paid your dues, and now you have a label, a stigma that can keep you from getting a gun. When you do your time and you pay your dues, you can absolutely get a gun. And that is what I did. I bring you information to fortify and strengthen you. And the reason why I brought this information today to the platform is because it's relative. Independence Day was brought upon celebration because people were able to bear arms and defend their homes and their rights. Through movements, absolutely. But a peaceful get together and um, knock down, shut down, enforcement have two completely different effects. I'm willing to go the second route, that part. How you doing? Oh, here's another thing that this brings me to. I'm telling you, a lot. <laughs> Multifaceted, very uh, high frequency. The movie The Purge is coming out with a part two. So the first purge to me was um, a warning, right? <laughs> and COVID was a test run of The Purge. Uh, I am not uh, a conspiracy theorist, <laughs> I'm a realist, and this is the reality, and you can hide it however you want to, I'm not hiding it. And when I told you guys I have to be careful what I say, I really do, because I don't want nobody coming for me and trying to kill me. I've had my social security uh, stolen, my identity compromised, I've been blackballed, um, how do I know that? Because I qualify for things and I get denied. And I know that I qualify because I read the criteria, that part. Um, I'm not gonna go there. Just know that I am a rebel. And there's reasons why I don't get assistance from the government. And um, when I apply for grants and things like that, I'm well aware of what it is I'm doing. And still, 
no one gives me anything. And when they give me something, I have the discernment as to, am I taking it knowing that this is gonna smack me in the face later? So here's the thing about being gifted as I am. Um, people see me as white, rebel, um, daring, or naive um, because of the situations that I expose myself to um, or encounter. Here's the thing. When you know your divine creator, have blind faith, fear is an emotion and a state of mind that I can recognize, but I don't necessarily fear, fear, or you, or the outcome, that part. So, aside from fearing not being able to leave my child, the legacy, the security, and the safety of the role that I have as a parent and a mother, I don't fear anything. Um, which is why I make the decisions I make. I have a lot of things that I know if I talk to you about, you may not believe. But when I say I have sight beyond the naked eye, I really do. <laughs> and so I can know that you want to hurt me. I can know that you're a rapist, a pedophile, killer, a thief. I can know you're lying to me and still smile in your face and treat you the way God intends. And I'll do it more than once. You know why? One, because I'm not judging you. Two, because I want you to see and feel that not everyone is out to be fucked up or gain or use or kill and destroy. Can I destroy? Yes. Will I kill you? I can and I will if I need to. And I mean that. Like, this is not, I'm not just saying that for cloud. Um, but I'm also a healer, meaning. I want to heal outside and inside. Because if you have strength in the spirit and a weak flesh, you're not gonna get very far. And if you have strength in the flesh and a weak spirit, you're not gonna get very far. So there has to be a what? An alignment, balance and equilibrium. I'm willing to assist us to be all of the above. I am doing pretty good financially, but that has nothing to do with my actions and intent. That has everything to do with the society we live in right now and the fact that I'm not willing to go through a lot of fuckery, like uh, the PPP loan. I have two registered businesses, the service I provide, the channel, and I had a retail store. I'm not applying for a loan where one, you're gonna tax my ass, like literally, you're gonna charge me interest in all the kinds of shit. Um, and two, if ever my business is not producing the financial income or revenue that I need, it is now capital, collateral, for you to take. So I develop something for you to build wealth. No. Ah ha ha. See? <laughs> that part. I've worked since I was 14, on and off. I ain't never got out of women. Not never, ever, ever. <laughs> the six weeks it takes to wait, I lose my mind. I have waited six weeks. It ain't pretty, waiting around. Nah, I'm cool. Um, God bless those that have the patience. I'm not knocking anyone that lives on public assistance or housing. I salute you. You're willing to go through processes in life that I don't have, one, the patience for, and two, the tolerance. I got zero tolerance for you to tell me about myself. You're not going to tell me that this is what I'm worth. You're not going to tell me that this is what I deserve to live in. You're not going to tell me how many people can live in my house. <clears throat> You're not going to tell me that I got to hear my neighbors through the walls. 
and come check huh, on no 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 I just no nah. I really enjoy being free I'd rather sleep on a sidewalk by a bush and have the bugs come up to me and we could talk and I could smush it if it's a threat than um, to be talked to and belittled because you feel that you're providing me a favor a come up a lot of these programs where you go to get shelter or any kind of assistance, they act like it's coming out their pocket. They act like uh, you're beneath them. And those that really do assist people that are in the human resource department because they want to help people, you can see it. You can feel it. They go above and beyond your job. They greet you. They don't look at you crazy. You feel it in the energy. I'm going to tell you guys another truth. This is how I know I've been blackballed. In Albuquerque, I applied for food stamps uh, when I uh, lost my job uh, in August, late August. My social security has been blackballed. I know that. And my identity has been compromised more than once. It's been stolen. People use it to buy shit. Which I don't know how, because it's so fucked off that uh, my credit score is so low. So if you got something in my name, congratulations, because I can't even get it. Um, <laughs> I don't do layaway, I don't do credit. The lady in the food stamp office listened to me, saw my necessity my frustration and went in the system and verified that she was not able to help me. I don't know what they put on my social, I don't know what the fuck they put in the system. She gave me someone else's already activated food stamp card and a $25 gift card. That's illegal. I'm not telling you who did it, but I know this. I thank God for her compassion. I thank God that she believed what I told her, that she verified what I told her and assisted me. I got food stamps for 30 days under somebody else's name. They didn't continue to deposit food stamps. Of course not, people report their cars stolen. Or maybe the person died, I don't fucking know, I didn't ask her. <laughs> not my business, I was grateful. But those are the kind of people that you know want to help and go above and beyond the call of duty because they see the necessity. I right now don't get food stamps. People tell me I qualify. Okay, and? Thanks. Those food stamps are my tax dollars. That Medicaid, that Medicare, we, I pay into that. You know what pisses me off though? When a public transit driver don't let civilians, the working class, on public transit over some fucking fear when the working class those that do take public transit are paying your motherfucking salary. And if you work for a private company, who pays them? Think about that. I'm trying to raise the humane being to a frequency where we understand that people are not their circumstances. So if someone doesn't have, don't further judge and inflict more trouble, conflict, Ease whatever it is that they need if you can. Public transit here in Georgia is fucked off. I'm grateful that I have it, but the workers have zero customer service skills. Like, I don't know why you do your job if you don't like people, you don't want to talk to people. Some of them are cool, eh, here and there. It's a dying breed, like me, you know, dinosaurs. Um, when people like what they do, you can tell. If you ask a bus driver, um, do you stop at such and such on this route? And this is the bus route that you are driving. I don't care if you don't drive that shit every day. That's none of my fucking business. That's your business. When a bus driver tells you, I don't know, this ain't my route, you a shitty ass bus driver. Go get another job. You don't know where you stop your motherfucking bus? That part. But if you talk to them like that, you know what they do? Oh, you can't get on my bus. And let me call security. Let me call the police. So me, 
because I need to get where I need to go. I just, you gotta know when to shut the fuck up. And uh, that, my friend, has come with hard work. Believe me, it is hard for me to shut the fuck up when I know I'm right and you are just wrong and trifling. I be wanna fuck shit up. Um, that's one of the things I don't like. Or like when they see someone struggling, like you can tell someone is literally struggling, um, whether it be by carrying their bags or just don't got the money to pay. And they say, no, you can't get on the bus. How dare you? If it's an everyday occurrence, I understand. But obviously the motherfucker got somewhere to go and it's urgent. It's so far that they can't walk it. How dare you? You're going to get paid regardless. Why do that to someone? Further humiliate them and then leave them stranded when clearly they have a necessity, an urge. <laughs> Fucked up. In New York, you know what public transit drivers do? When you come talking all crazy and shit, you're dead on them, they do like this. Go, they let you go. You know why? They get paid no matter what. New York Transit, 24 hours a day. If there's a cancellation, they put another route in place. Is it perfect? No. It's gridlock. You be on a bus, I don't know about now, because COVID. I moved back to New York in 2017. In Georgia, uh, there's actually space on the bus. And people be like, oh, it's crowded. What? What? Wait a Man, look at here. You know what it is that somebody literally groping you and know where to move? Don't breathe too hard. You might smell a fart. That part. That's why I love New York. You know why? They say we are grimy. They say we are rude. No. If anything, we're open-minded. We're ambitious. We're driven. Might be a little scandalous because we wear all kind of shit and say what we feel and think. Uh, some people like the filter um, of compassion. Uh, a lot of people got an I don't give a fuck attitude, but I give a fuck. So um, I will consider your state of thought, feeling, and present being. Um, New Yorkers actually do hold the door for one another. New Yorkers do say hello to perfect strangers. New Yorkers don't fuck with the homeless people on the curb. Not really. Not even the young guys. They're like the, the, what they call hoodlums. There's a street etiquette, you know? I can't say that for every other state I've been to. Here's the one thing I will say about New Yorkers. Time is of the essence. It's the one thing you can't get back. You ever heard of a New York Minute? Right. Quick, but essential. In a minute, you can do a lot, you can say a lot. A lot can transpire. A minute is important. Your time is important. It is priceless and irreplaceable. Everything else, we can work on. So therefore, why not get to the point and be direct? Why not be a little like, hurry up, get to the point. Hurry up, I got somewhere to be. Right. Because your time is priceless. And it's the one thing in this existence that will never be recreated. I like pictures, you know why? Pictures give you a memory physically, a notion. It's a caption of not just you, but everything that was encompassed in that event at that time. And for real, for real, you can uh, catch spirits. Like I say, I see without, you know, having to tune in and none of that. Like my raw gift from creation, like I was born like this, you can capture them in pictures. That's fucking awesome. And video. <clears throat> That's why I like pictures. 
It's a moment in time captured, and it speaks volumes. Video and audio, I'm starting to get a, a grip of it, you know, self-taught, studious, and I enjoy it as well. Why? Because it is forever. As long as you can keep a copy of it, which now is pretty much all time, because everything's digital. You don't need a physical anything, unless they drop the satellites out the sky. <laughs> I thank you guys for tuning up and tuning in with me, Miss Aviation Divination. I hope you guys got something good from this. Um, I hope you do enjoy your, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna declare this upon you <laughs> with my Aviation Divination. I declare you will have a wonderful 4th of July with whoever you choose to share your time with. I declare that you will make beautiful memories. I declare that you will get home safely. May your ancestral guides and our divine creator be with you until you get to the sanctuary of your home or wherever it is you lay your head for peace. I love you. It's more than a feeling. It's free, it's a gift. Keep it. Keep coming back, guys. I'm a lot of things. But uh, the one thing I will not accept and I will not have. Oh, and this is what I'm going to do, too. Huh. Here's another one. When and if ever, Angela Acevedo, this being, is spoken of in any negative, belittling, unedifying, false manner you will cuss yourself you will spit within your own eye and you will manifest your own ill intentions of me upon yourself and that my friend is my truth to those that don't know no better and i mean what i say so don't try me <laughs> because my god don't play about me and i don't play i love you guys Keep tuning in and tuning up with me. I'm gonna put a link to the services I provide. Welcome at Smile is through Schedulicity. You can book appointments. I'm gonna add further services. Again guys, I got a full-time job. I'm a freelancer, so I'm looking for work as I'm working. I create videos. I am trying my best to establish myself financially so that I can further develop my apparel in a location I am, I want to physically rent some sort of studio where I can have an office space and a yoga area. Um, like, bro, like, as big as at least the living area that I have right now, um, but commercial space. And um, all of those things take time, hard work, um, research, and then action. So I wish I could upload content every day. But when I am able to upload content, I hope and pray you receive the message, you feed your energy, your soul, your heart, because it is all given to you in the purest, most loving, fortifying spirit, soul, energy that I have in me. Mm. God don't make garbage. You're not a coincidence. Have a great day.